So today's lecture will be more about books about rather than mysteries of Saturn called Anu, the highest gods of heavens, and Babylon, Sumeria, Akkad, Assyria, Elam, called Horus of the Twin Horizons in Egypt, called Ion in Mitraic mysteries as if Mitra emanated the Sun Saturn connection, called Varuna in the Hindi mythologies and theological corpore. And uh, first things first, I would like to focus on the Roman concept of Saturn, taken from not any other work, but Saturnalia of Macrobius, that tried to preserve the Greek or Roman mysteries untainted by Judeo-Christian inventions. So these are excerpts that I've made a long time ago from all the books of Saturnalia. And here I would like to focus on the translation of some of those fragments. All right. This is the metaphor of choir in which the key and melody are defined by the whole that are quenching the voices that are discordant and collectively put towards the betterness in which some people during a symposium are singing solo, but they resonate with the harmony of the whole, evidently that are suitable and pertaining to the symposium and the relations that are in between present and the past. Common culture defines and delimits the borders in such a way that it is accentuated and finds its way towards pertaining and permeating the whole labors. So we should imitate the bees, citing William Blake, the busy bee has no time for sorrow, in such a way that they fly around the flowers, they probe them, they arrange what they have collected, and afterwards they are laying it all in the cells into honey, that they are mixing the laborious spirit of their collective into a quality nectar of all forms of flowers. It's not to say that humanity is like a hive, which is a complete abomination. Humans are different, but by imitating bees, they may learn something from these wonderful insects. So, there are some theories about Saturn in Rome, which was a respected god in Rome. He was giving agriculture. So, there are three aspects of myths and legends. There's the human aspect. They believe that people were immortalized in the memory of human. There's the astronomical, astrological aspect, or the forces with which humans connected or trafficked. And they tried to commemorate the astronomical, astrological uh, happenstance, happen, uh, be, uh, happenings, and the theistic aspects, or the gods in which humans believed in, which some humans could become as little gods and goddesses in the processions with whom they entered in interaction. Now, in the Rome, the proto-Saturn was this, this pater, in other words, that was the underworld god to whom they were sacrifices back in the Etruscan and Roman kingdom. Uh, they sacrificed humans, human males, to this pater. And uh, throughout an age, they believed that they are quenching the anger of this with uh, human heads and that they are appeasing Saturn with the sacrifices from males, because those were the words of the oracles. So heads for Hades, to send the person, Fota, to his father, just like Hercules that was returning from Italy with the cattle of Gerion. He persuaded the descendants to replace those sacrifices human sacrifices with something else, offering this masks. So they created a whole altar, as in Lararia, of masks, white masks from perhaps theatrical ideas 
or carried on and offered candles the offering of candles that survived survived through carmentalia to the modern day lighting of a candle in the greek or roman world and later on carried on in the tradition that was originally a sacrifice to saturn lighting a candle so of course there were also various uh, traditions of giving gifts during saturnalia that were called sigillaria little gifts exchanged by people this is also an ancient idea now chronos or saturn is not the same as chronos the time and the mythographers describe various versions of saturn just like the physical scientists give him certain similarities to truth so by metaphorical understanding of this power the cutting of the genitals from his uh, father uranus that were thrown into the ocean venus was arising from the seas as aphrodite genetrix or life then she took uh, the name of aphrodite or the indivisible from the mind when she was formed so they interpreted in such a way when chaos or proteus existed there was no time because time is a permeated measure that is calculated based on the revolutions happening in celestial rain in the heavens in the stars therefore chronos of which we say chronos was born of the same heavens because the seeds that filled all the heavens and all the elements that fulfilled the world also belong to the seeds just like uranus ranos or the elements that are mingling in a given time and from which all the elements the physical elements and the philosophical essences and elements were generated so this is the possibility of sexing every human animal and other thing sexing as in giving sexes in the unbreakable sequence of reproduction that was generated from the waters of venus so the things mixed from the male and female element because of the history of castration our compatriots called this force saturn after the greek word sate which also means penis therefore saturn just like satyrs satyrs are called satyrs because they are given in to promiscuity now the reports of mythographers show that under the rule of janus all houses were fortified with an aura of scruples and sacredness of a religious order in rome so therefore they decided that saturn will be worshipped as a god because of the blessing of entering and exiting the uh, buildings that are consecrated to him let us move further Olupia, Bogini, oh, the goddess Angerona. I love the goddess Angerona. It is restraint in silence and the pleasure of restraint in silence, uh, aspected but by Peifo. And Peifo is the goddess of persuasion. If you know when to be silent and how to contain your silence, you are well spoken and eloquent when you give commands. Further. is about uh, flamen and flamenica both uh, that of mars martialis and uh, jovialis oh so saturnalia wore a festival that began on the 14th day or exactly 14 day before the calends of january and calend was the first day of a month 
just like IDs were the 21st one, so IDs of March. And in such a way, the Saturnalia were proclaimed in the Temple of Saturn in Rome during a noble banquet. Of course, this day was also assigned to Opalia, which was also the concubine of Saturn. The concubine was Ops or Earth in its, let's say, uh, generosity as well as Rhea, time. Opalia was the partner of Saturn and her celebration was designated as 19th of December, according to Varro. She was also called Ops Convivia, Convivia meaning concubine. All right. I'm sorry for slowing down my flow of speech, but I'm translating parts of it. This is a fragment on slaves that are humans too. They weren't mistreated in the majority and someone mistreating his slaves were considered inhumane. Seneca. Oh, the meaning of Artemis, aerotomis, cutting through the air. Because Hades between moon and earth was called the sphere of air. And that was called Hades between earth and the moon. So the one who cut with her arrows down from the infarum through the air was Aerotomis. And just like the Antron in Faro says in Mitraic Axiom number one, that a stout bow or harmony with intention of opposition, making yourself into a bow, your constitution, your genius, your diamond, your soul, makes your soul into an arrow that goes beyond the lunar sphere, Selenic, up to the spheres, up to the stars. That was the idea behind the initiations. At first you have to polish and sculpt yourself in order to be concordant with all the planets and planetary spheres above the moon, above Earth, in order to ascend or be designated to a given sphere. Now, okay. Ah, so, to be honest, it's 6 a.m. I'll quickly run through the rest of the lecture because I will turn it into three hours and I need to sleep at times. So first things first, I would recommend uh, the Fire and Ice, the history, structure and rituals of Germany's most influential modern magical order, the Brotherhood of Saturn. What happened with the original Fraternitas Saturni? It was destroyed by the Nazis because it was a paramasonic organization and the Nazis didn't particularly like magical orders. They didn't like Masons, they didn't like uh, Jews, they didn't like uh, magical people, they didn't like every everyone. Okay. I don't like Judeo Christian ones, but it doesn't matter. Now, uh, what is the mistake in this book? The main mistake is that it designates one Wronski from Poland as one of the founders of Fraternitas Saturni. Uh, da, da, da. Joseph Maria Hende Wronski, 1776-1853. Now, what I would like to say is that I studied the works of Wronski. I had the original uh, Wronski's messianistic ideas in my hands. I know he didn't have anything to do with it. He was completely a believer in the church and he believed that uh, Polish messianism should go on and on. So it is highly improbable that he had anything to do with an order that would be associated with the Saturnian philosophy. Okay, so that's one book that I recommend. The other book is The Cult of the Black Cube by Artur Moros. It is quite useful. 
mind the rituals the rituals by a versatile magician should be considered to be made by oneself with one's own tool set however it is a rather interesting not wholly correct but interesting uh, scholarly review of the Saturnian traditions in various cultures especially the Arabic one is interesting and uh, what else I'm not an arduous student of German, I must admit. I've learned German for nine years and I don't remember anything because of the lack of working knowledge of this language. However, this book by Mr. Fokel Lacher, The Ersten Jahre der Fraternitas Saturni, is quite a volume. And it analyzes how it was launched as a pan-Zophic organization how it was later absorbed by Ordo Templi Orientis per contacts via Grosch, Crowley, Gregorius, and so on. And uh, how during the depression in Germany, the order partially fell apart because of the financial hyperinflation and lack of financial means of the people that were committed to the order, then it was finished off by the Nazis, and the modern Fraternitas Saturni, of which I'm not a member, I must admit, has nothing to do with what it was originally intending, in as much as I'm concerned. So, that will be about it. Have fun.